what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I am back here at Elder Ford. Nadia gave me a call. They just got something special in, and they know, she knows, and I know that you guys, my subscribers, the people that support Rady's Rides, love not only Mustangs, but also Mustangs that have a twist. So what we have is this 2018 Roush Mustang. It's a stage two. If you don't know much about Jack Roush, Jack Roush has been connected with Ford for so many years. Not only has he been a driver, not only an engineer, but also a team owner. And he's been connected with Ford in a way that he's actually bringing some of that excitement, some of that trickery, some of that magic to the streets. And what's great about the Roush Mustang lineup is that there's different stages depending on how thick your wallet is or how crazy you want to go with performance and style. This one being a stage two kind of falls right into that sweet spot out of the different versions. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 2018. This is Ruby Red. I love Ruby Red on a Mustang, especially a Roush. So with the Roush Mustang lineup, you're going to get the change in the lower area of the front bumper. You can see how it sticks out a little bit more than what you'd find on stock. The only problem with this, and this is going to be a zonk for me, is that this is non-functional. So air goes in, but it isn't going anywhere. I'll have Tom sweep it around and show you that it just is a dead end. It's like going down a dead end street uh, to nowhere. What I do like though is I love this aggressive front lip spoiler that they put on the Roush Mustangs. I love the Roush uh, logo right across the front. Very, very aggressive and really just makes it have such a distinct look. I think one of my favorite grills is on the Roush Mustangs. I like this open grill with the, the different bars here. Really cleans up the front of the area of the car and just gives it a personality that's all its own. There's our badge, our stage two. So if you ever see a Roush parked at a car show or in a parking lot, take a look at that grill area and that's gonna tell you what it is. This being a stage two, there's our number two there. Um, if you saw JH, that's the jackhammer. Don't mess with that one, that one's supercharged, but just very aggressive from the front and it goes all the way up onto the hood. I love these functional heat extractors. They're different than the stock ones from Ford and I just really like the way it flows in with the body lines of the hood. All the creases, everything, it just seems like it was made to just be here from the get-go from Ford. So if you're wondering, this is a performance pack convertible that actually has been sent over to Roush and then has all the adjustments done. And that's the one thing is that Ford's been making some great performance cars with the GT350, with the performance pack one and two, but it's nice to see a convertible. And I know a lot of you guys love convertible Mustangs and this is a great way to get into a convertible performance Mustang and have that distinctive look. Check out the side. One of my favorite things about this car, as soon as it rolled out, are these huge 20 inch wheels, very nicely done. They're like a gun metal gray. I like the Roush logo here. You can see lurking behind that, that's gonna be your standard fare of the performance pack. So that's a six piston Brembo caliper, and then you have the larger rotors from the performance pack. Me being a fan of racing, of modified cars, this car has an MSRP of $70,000. It has been marked down, so you definitely want to give Nadia a call here at Elder Ford, but I would like to see some cross-drilled rotors. I would like to see um, maybe even a carbon uh, ceramic rotor option uh, because at the end of the day, I think people want to see when that Roush name, they want the performance. This car being a stage two has one-way adjustable coilover suspension, so it gives it a very, very nice look as it sits here, not too low, to where you're gonna have rub, but it really cleans up the gaps between the bottom of the fender and the top of the tire, but very nicely done. As we work our way down the side, I love the Roush badging here. I like the way they take the R and blend it into the logo. And then probably one of my favorite things about this car, and I know this may sound a little lame, is I like the body stripe down here, this lower body striping. It really harks back to those old uh, Shelby uh, you know, series of cars, and I really just think it helps break up the sea of ruby red. This is going to be your standard fare uh, side skirt. I would like to see maybe something a little bit more because remember, going back to the front here, you can see how with the Roush, it actually is very, very aggressive and it's helping to channel that air around the side of the car. So I would like to see a little bit of work here on the side to kind of go with that. As we go down, here's probably 
one of the, one of the bigger zonks for me is the fake side scoop. It looks good, but they're not functional. I wish there was a way to make these functional, maybe do some rear brake cooling or whatnot, but it does help with the actual separation of separating you from a standard Mustang GT. One of my favorite parts right here, the roll bar across the back of this car. This really is not only aesthetically cool, but obviously it's gonna be functional in case of a rollover situation. But it's things like these that I think people are missing, especially if you look back to the old GT500, say like a 2014, 2013 GT500, you could get that in a convertible with the rollover bar from Ford. So nice to see that Jack Roush putting this in with the stage two convertible. And then to finish it off back, very simple. Now I would like to see a little extra kick up spoiler. And if you look at the Roush catalog, when you're ordering these vehicles, you can get different versions of different rear trunklet spoilers. I need something here. It needs just a little extra kick up right here, right now. That's what I would like to see. Another thing that I'm not a big fan of is this, this, this antenna. I would think in the, this day and age, 21st century, that needs to be gone. Everything needs to be just center, uh, like a shark fin style, something like we have here. But this, this antenna is gonna be a, a zonk for me, kind of kills the back look. But I do like the rear. I like the way they change out this panel here in between those iconic taillights. I like the Roush badging. And one thing that is simple, but it works, is Roush adds these two extra pieces to the diffuser. I, it's gonna be a partial zonk. I personally would like to see a totally different diffuser, but it is nice that they took that into consideration to separate the back of this car from your standard Mustang GT. And then of course, to finish it off, you have the beautiful quad tip exhaust. I like the way they're in black and they're adaptive. So you'll see when we start this thing up and fire it up, it's gonna have a very nice sound and you could actually make it quieter in case you are going to an early car show and you don't wanna wake up your neighbors. Speaking of the sound, let's see what's lurking underneath the hood of this stage two Roush Mustang. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the Roush Mustang, that stage two. The biggest modification are gonna be the hood struts to help open up the hood. One of the biggest complaints I hear from people is gonna be from this little guy right here, the old prop rod to prop up your hood this one from Roush, they go ahead and they put the actual hydraulic struts to open up the hood and keep it open. That's the biggest mod, guys. Besides that, it's just gonna be some badging. You have the RS2 badge across the strut tower brace. This is standard affair on a Mustang GT with the performance pack. You're also gonna have that standard engine, 460 horsepower, no extra ponies coming from this Mustang. And that's probably going to be a big question mark for a lot of you because Roush is associated with performance. And with performance, there should be not only from handling and brakes, but also from the engine. So at the end of the day, it's 460 horsepower, just like your stock Mustang GT. It's made it to that slick shifting 10 speed transmission. You're looking at zero to 60, about 4.2. 4.1 seconds with this convertible. So at the end of the day, $70,000, does it add up? I think if you want something unique, you may not find it under here, but you are finding it around the car. Let's go ahead and fire this up and see what she sounds like. guys here we are i'm sitting inside this stage two roush mustang it feels cool with the top down and that roll bar back here you'll see that roush did not do a whole lot with the interior so you have your standard door panels they are nice but there isn't anything extra i think i'm gonna zonk it because i like to see a little bit of styling maybe some aluminum maybe some carbon fiber you do get a jack roush badge here with the serial number same serial number from underneath the hood and you're gonna still get that same layout of gauges that you would. Now, one of the biggest things that's really cool is right here. This is gonna be that controller for your active exhaust to go from mild to wild. So that's pretty cool that that's there. And you'll, you, you heard the difference. I mean, from quiet to opening up all the way, it really makes it that much of a better sound. And I just think it looks cool that it has this like brushed aluminum uh, metal uh, 
feel to it and I like the actual metal control knob. So that gives it that extra special touch. Other than that, it's, it's your standard Mustang affair. You got the Roush logo across the windshield. I'm gonna have you come around over here so I can show you what you're seeing from behind the wheel. But if you've been in a Mustang GT, especially with the tech package and everything, you're not gonna see a whole lot of surprises. But it is still a great quality piece of equipment. Why don't you come over and check it out? All right, guys, the business end. Let's focus on the changes. So you're gonna have a Roush badge down here that actually lights up when you open up the door. It is uh, aluminum, so that's a nice uh, finish. I love the pedals though. I love the Roush pedals. They're aluminum and they have this really cool uh, grip tape look to them and feel that's gonna allow you to have traction. This one has the 10 speed, so there's obviously no clutch, but if you did get this with the six speed, you have that awesome, wonderful clutch pedal also finished in that beautiful aluminum. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. This has the full digital gauges like we've showed you on other Mustang vehicles. Uh, of course, Ford likes to tell you that the, the car's on, but you can see the wonderful feel of that tack there, the speedometer, um, and right now I have the exhaust open all the way to custom and track. So you could hear that in the background, I'm sure on the microphone. Um, but this car, like I said, you're gonna have the style, but you also have a lot of the great features. I, Zonkwise, different steering wheel. Or at least take this horn button off and put a Roush Mustang horn button here. A nice Roush logo, I think that would be a really nice touch. Um, maybe do something with the seats. But like I said, this is stage two, so you could go a little bit more wild with stage three and that jackhammer. But if you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this one up. Let's go ahead and take care of it. All right, guys, so it's been one hell of a day here at Elder Ford. I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Nadia and everybody here at Elder Ford. Very welcoming. They just let me come in with Tom and we just get to choose whatever we want to review. So that really is a great connection. At the end of the day, like I said, MSRP, this is at $70,000. They do have it marked down to $62,000, so you definitely want to give Nadia a call. It's a way for you to have that Mustang ownership, but have something unique that if you go to a car show, a cars and coffee, a car gathering, or just driving around, you're going to stand out from the rest of that Mustang crowd, crowd with such distinctive looks and that wonderful sound from the adaptive exhaust. But if these are the types of cars you like to see on Radies Rides, I'm having a feeling that you do. But if these are the types of cars, leave a comment in that comment section. If there's anything particular you want to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I promise you every single day, I like to bring a video, a review for you guys to watch. It's like me sharing the car passion, me sharing that experience of going to de dealerships and car shows with you. If you have been a subscriber, you know what Radies Rides is all about, and I'm very grateful for you being part of the family, of the community here on Radies Rides. I love the support, I love the comments, I love people helping out one another, and that's the wonderful thing, is that it's the people behind these cars, behind that computer screen, that are so important to the whole car passion and the car industry, to be honest with you. If you haven't checked out my Radies Rides Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages, you definitely want to check those out. All original Radies Rides content all the time. Get yourself some merch. There's a link that popped up at the beginning of this video. Click on that. You can get yourself hats, shirts, wallets, bandanas, bags, whatever you want. Like I said, we're bronzing Tom's arms, so those are going to be in the merch store. Not going to be cheap, but they're going to be worth it, I promise you. And speaking of Tom, we can't forget him, the guy behind the camera. I really love the way you guys are showing him a bunch of love, telling him about his, his great camera skills, wishing him luck for that huge powerlifting competition he's got coming up, and just sharing his love of cars with all of you through these awesome camera angles. So thank you, Tom, for all your support and for loaning us your arms to, to help make money for Rady's Rides. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next ride.